Hi, in today's session, we are going to talk about the seven R's of cloud migration. Exactly what are they? So let's look at our scenario here. On the left hand side, we have our traditional data center. And on the right hand side, we have our cloud platforms, right? Such as AWS, Azure, GCP, what we're essentially moving to. So we're going to start off firstly with rehosting. All that simply is lifting and shifting, moving an application as is from our data center to the cloud platform. The second option here is refactoring. So this actually means making the move, but with some small changes. So when we look at from a security perspective here, we really wouldn't typically do that many security changes here uh, because we're only making some small changes to the application. The next option is re-architecting. And in this instance, it's similar to refactor, but the changes are more major. So in this instance, we could consider making some re-architectural changes when it comes to security. For example, we may place a WAF firewall in front of the application, or we may decide to uh, store our credentials in a key vault in the cloud that didn't exist in our data center. The next option is to rebuild, completely re-engineer our application. This obviously requires a lot of work, but the advantage now from a security perspective is we can now take advantage of some of the more native security offerings that the cloud platform uh, provides to us. The next option here is repurchasing. Right. So basically, let's say we had an application in our data center, which was really designed for that data center. We can go back to the, the vendor and say, do you have a cloud version of the application and simply install the cloud version? And this would be the complete opposite to simply rehosting the application. The next step is to basically revert, right? So basically, for some reason, we decided to rehost it, refactor it, um, or re-architect the actual new application inside the cloud platform. Reverting it just simply means moving it back to the data center. That's rare. It could happen, but typically we don't do that. And then finally, the final option here is to simply retire the application, right? So that's basically not moving it into the cloud and we're just done with the application. And that concludes our short tutorial on the seven R's of cloud migration. Thank you.